Whoa. Okay, there we go. But yeah, how's it going, guys? How's it going, Dongo and everybody else? How have you guys been? I should probably try to um, change around my streaming times. Because I set it to like this since I had um, 30 hours a week. But now that I have 10, I can do uh, something different. Alright, this is Wolf Lady. I don't have to do anything with her for a while. Um... What do we want to do? Because I went and did the Lakeside Crystal Cave. That was the last thing I did. Right, and this is after the cave. You come out to the shack. Um, I could look for... Well, you know, yeah. I'm going to go do the castle. I really need to do, to do the castle. That's kind of the next step in the story. You can either do the castle or just go around it, and uh, I did a little bit of both, but I like to go through and search through the whole castle. Oh yeah, I need to turn my lighting up. <clears throat> there we go. Oh man, that's bright. <clears throat> the hair in my drink froze. Yuck. I got the hair. Let's go. Let's do some more Elden Ring. My eyes kind of hurt for some reason. I don't know why. That's why I keep like rubbing my face. Okay, so I think the correct way that I should go is I should just keep walking past these birds. Sword birds. Oh, it like swung around my back. Things are so evil. There we go. One shield counter does it all. Okay, so I have been jumping over this and going down that way. But I think I need to go this way to uh, progress in this place. Yeah, I've been down there before, for sure. Yeah. I don't know how to elongate an emote, though. Like... What do I do? Because it has to be... a square. Has to be one twenty two by one twenty two pixels. I think I've already checked what's inside here. I don't need to go back. What was this? Oh, yes, the magic guy. Okay. Cool, we can get a quick backstab. There we go. I'd much rather hit this guy. Hey, 
Dang, that still hit me. I did not see that firebomb at all. Dang, he goes so far with that. Nice. Torch pole. Probably won't ever use that, but cool. Look at all these scrubs that died to those guys. Psh, that would never be me. Definitely not. Oh. 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 Our game stopped. Like trying to kill me now that I said that. Should be easy enough to do in paint, can figure out later. Okay. Then it will be checked out in paint later. Yeah, um, right before this, I went and got Sonic. And I got a, um, it was like a Reese's shake since they were half off. But I kind of feel like garbage after having it. There we go. Trying to get the backstab spot. Okay, this is where that boss was. Oh, that, oh, I still got the backstab. Couldn't even see what was going on. <laughs> That's still lock code. Oof. Man, why is the game running like trash? What is going on here? Did I kill the boss thing down here? I think I did last time. Oh, no I didn't. I love this sword. So much. Oh, I should take the elevator. That's what I should do. The elevator is just a little shortcut. I just don't remember where it is. It's so dark in here. Hello. He did not seem to want to fight. He backed away immediately. Man. Just running so bad. Okay, uh, was there another way I could go? Hopefully this guy doesn't murk me. Just looking for an elevator, man. Not trying to fight anybody. I think that was it. Yeah, it is. There's dogs behind me now, too. Okay, we're good. So this leads back up to the bonfire, or sorry, the grace site, not bonfire. Now we don't ever have to go that way again if we don't want to. Uh, I guess I should go out that door to my left that I'm walking towards. I didn't check that one to the right either. I've came from up there though. And I've been through this already. Is there anything past this?
Everything is weird because it's familiar since I've done it. That guy's dead already. It's familiar because I've done it all once before. So I'm just trying to remember if it's familiar from this playthrough or the last one. Okay, yeah, there's nothing in here. So I, there's only one way that I can go. Wow, for a big enemy, I actually do a lot of damage to him. Crap. I was trying to do a jump attack. I don't know why uh, my jump didn't get input. Whoa. I just drink this already and go aggressive. Ah, I would have done so much damage. Okay, so what my wondrous physique is doing. Holy crap, I've never seen him do that. Uh, it's, it healed me halfway. Oh my god! And then it makes me uh, continuously heal slowly. For uh, what seems like a really long time. It's still doing it. Okay, I almost got him. Okay, we're good. Yes! Whoa! Ow. Heck yeah. I don't know if I beat that guy in the other game. But, um, this Wondrous Physique is pretty crazy. I'm still healing. And the boss fight's been over for, like, two minutes. When does this go away? Like, once I reach full health? Anyways, I'm going the wrong way. This is where I came from. I need to be going... This way? Yes, this way. This is stuff I haven't done yet. Try and lure a couple out. So, yeah, you, to get through this castle, you can either go this way, which is the front gate, or you can take this secret way. Um, which I don't ever take. The front gate's supposed to be super hard, because there's all these guys, and it's heavily guarded. But, I mean, as long as you play it right, I mean, it's not too bad. Those flamethrowers are short range, so just go around them. I'm lucky. I like to lean back from the animation, so I didn't get hit there. Let's see. It's not too bad. They don't like all gang up on you at once like they should. They just kind of let it happen. And yeah, see how short the flamethrowers are too? 
and you have to be right in front of them. Like, they're not very good. <laughs> they do a ton of damage. And they're like multi-hit, so they hit you over and over again. But still, they're really not that good. It'd be better if they just used their crossbows. Oh. How did that one survive, but that one not? Mushrooms, always welcome. And this last sad guy. I literally killed everyone behind him. And then came back for him. <laughs> Alright. Guys got fire rocks. Not anymore. Ho oh ho. Wooden great shield. I don't think that one's actually that great. That's decent. I don't know if it's uh, great enough for me though. It's eight pounds, and it doesn't have a hundred physical block, so eh. It had other good things though, other good blocking. Behold, mushroom. Eight mushrooms, holy crap. Oh, I did not even mean to run into this guy. Did he hit his dog? I think he hit his dog. It's messed up, man. I had to put it out of its misery. Poor thing. Ooh. Heck yeah. Oh crap, he can come in here. Don't destroy my painting. Thank you. So I guess I just keep going up. Bro calling finger remedy. Those are the things that let you bring other people into your world to help you out. I'm gonna rest and then I'm gonna go fight that guy. After I level up. I don't wanna lose my souls. Well, screw it. I'll kill him for the souls. Hey there, buddy. Ah, uh, he didn't stagger on that heavy hit. How's the dog hurt again? Holy crap, he swings that very wide. Hey. The best defense. And I got some beast blood. Smithing stone one. Times two. And let's level up our intelligence. Are we at 14 yet? Hey, we are at 14. I could have been using spells this whole time. I think. No, never mind. I need 16. Alright, one more level and then um, the spells begin. And I'll try to use those more than this um, amazing sword that I have been using. Is there anything else down here that I should get before I go? I could go that way. I'm gonna check out what's up here first, I guess. I hear a uh, scarab. I would really like to get that. Oh, it's the tiny jar, guys. Ah, there's the scarab. Is that a trap, though? Ah, 
Oh, it was gonna run up toward all the jars. Yeah, that would have been a trap if I didn't kill it that quick. What do we got here? Kuriki? Really? Is this an actual hidden path? Am I out here already? Root. Nice. This is very cool. I never saw this before. Oh, that's them walking below me. I thought there was something behind me. I heard some footsteps. I was ready to go. I also forgot I have this. Got him. Oh, they're just throwing rocks. Oh, he's still alive. Imagine that was your attack. Throwing rocks. That is such a sad attack. Look at all this stuff they have next to them. They got spears, they got all these swords. And they're picking up rocks and throwing them at me. This is like a half-finished ballista chilling right there. Maybe that's what they were doing. They spent all their time trying to make that ballista. Really what you seek is somewhere close by. Probably over here. Try rolling. I could just jump down here. Something incredible ahead, ooh, I'm excited. Lots of deaths right here. Oh, from people trying to jump and get it. <laughs> Try jumping, think carefully. Jumping required ahead. Try jumping. <laughs> and it's only a golden rune five. How much does that give? Well, it gives you quite a few runes. Um, yeah, 1,600. That's pretty good. It's just funny that uh, so many people died for it. Rainbow Stone. Ranged battle. Hey, let's go. Oh, okay, I know where I am. Very cool. Yeah, I've never found this area before. That, um, uh, that message is what gave it to me. Oh, hello. The leaf. Wary of up. Oh, I see. Not that. This. This barrage thing is so cool.
Come on, bat. Are they not gonna come up here? I'll still kill it with the bow. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> Nope. That could not be an item. It's always a message. They always do that. <laughs> These parts where you're way up here are so scary. Be wary of rat. Rat? Oh, lots of rats. I also missed an important item way up there before I started going down this shortcut, so I need to remember to go back for that. This is awesome, though. I also hear a scarab around. No, I can't believe that missed both of them. I thought I hit them both. Good, 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 got him. Likely dog. <laughs> Ah, the giant rat, of course. Rats of unusually large size. There we go, I thought he had dropped something. Oh, it's just a mana one. I'll still try to kill it. Sometimes the shade of blue is a little off. So it's not actually mana. Rancor call. Okay, so that was a blue. Or that was a, um, like a dark blue. Which is spells. Okay, so this is a boss. There's lots of items down there, which is not good. Well, I have about all my flasks, so I guess I'll just do it. Holy crap. Jesus. This thing is gigantic. Yes, okay, Swordstone Key is really nice to have. I just hit him with my shield there. Oh my god. I feel like they should have put him in a bigger area. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh yeah, he kind of does look like the Sonic Adventure 2 lizard thing. Except I don't know what he just did. What the heck is he doing? Holy crap. Oh. No, that did so much damage, dude. That's like the first thing I got hit by. Or I guess the second. Well, I should be able to beat that boss, as long as I don't get hit by that crap. 
Oh, uh, we gotta run all the way over there now, too. Ripperoni. Uh, yeah, it was this way. Gonna be a long walk. And a whole lot of falling. I guess it's really not that long of a walk. Alright, we're back. Don't give up, skeleton! Oh, there's one thing I didn't pick up. Holy crap, I just barely dodged that. That too. That was just silly. I feel like I should just keep swinging. What is this attack? Doesn't matter. Ah. Ooh, I rolled too early, but that didn't kill me somehow. Okay, that time, somehow I dodged it. I guess last time I dodged you early. Maybe that was the attack I died to last time? That one seemed different, right? Oh no! Ooh, right into the camera. Oh, I did not mean to drink that. Oh, wait, why did it only do that much damage this time? How far does that go? Okay, it doesn't go very far at all. Got him! Finish it off with the arrow. Nice, we get a golden seed for that fight too. Heck yeah. Well that was a cool little boss fight that I've never seen before. God. Prince of Death's Ustu? Is that a 
one of these? Yeah. Raises vitality. Ooh. By how much? Okay, so it doesn't raise your endurance, though. It only raises your equipment load. So it's kind of like having, um... Ew, it even squishes. It's like having, uh... Hable's Ring. That's what it is. All required ahead. I think it's interesting. Got like tentacles coming out of its face too. Ugh. This game has so many just like giant dead creatures that look like they would have been cool bosses to fight. Well, that's cool how some of my arrows are different inside of the, the quiver. Because I do have all these different kinds of things equipped. Yeah, and if I unequip it, it's gone. That's awesome. Attention to detail. Wow. Oof. Well... Like I was saying, after I had that, um, Sonic shake, I started feeling like Garbo. And I took some medicine before this. Um, uh, we'll see. We'll see if I start feeling better. Hopefully so, because I'd like to stay up and do some stuff before this. Or, before I go to bed. Okay, so we're back to this room. Um, that was all the secret, but I gotta go back and find that item that I left behind. Not this, it's gotta be out this way, I think. Yes. But I just gotta run through all these guys again. Pretty sure you can literally just run past them all. Oh yeah. I forgot this is up here as well. Excuse me, sir. Might as well. I mean that guy was wide open. Oh, am I supposed to get him to hit that or something? No, I know what I'm supposed to do. Never mind. Okay, so we're back here now. I think it was this way. Because I don't think this is the elevator that leads me to that uh, area with the main boss. Yeah, this goes up. Yep, this is exactly where I wanted to go. Sweet. Sorry, Jar guys. Ooh, I didn't realize that giant one was back there. Oof, they freaking explode. They're kind of bad for killing these guys. I always do. Ooh, 
Cracked pot times two. Nice. That's a very fitting item for that spot. Alright, let's go get our other grace site. Alright, I got distracted up there because that's where that secret is. Where it all began. And this here was my old spot where I would farm, actually. This was my rune farm because it's actually kind of challenging. And uh, whenever I was either not doing well or I just didn't want to progress the story, I would play one of these spots up here. This actually is not the spot I was thinking. It's in a room much like that where the grace is. Alright, kill his little friends real quick. That should make this a lot easier. Nice. I was hoping that would be enough for that. G -g -g got him. Let's go. What do we got out here now? Oh no, more birds. I thought I saw something back here. I think it was just that flower. It looked like an item. Yes! Those turkeys are so annoying. How many arrows do I have? 31. Look at this, he doesn't even know. No idea. We're literally making eye contact. What a guy. <laughs> What was that? Oh no! That's why the turkeys are evil. They got fire. The bird picks pyromancer class. Got it. Holy crap, dude. That was very close. I hate those stupid things. Oh, okay, so this is where the other side of the front gate goes to. Okay, I thought I put up my shield, bruh. Bruh. Okay, I think there's only one more spot over here that I have to really check out, and that's this little uh, doorway over here. Oh, and I saw an item uh, in that little alleyway as well. You're a fine warrior. Your only mistake was your choice of next step. Let the winds lift you to a higher place. Hello. Sorry to break the mood. Who do we have here? Tarnished, are you? Clearly not one of Frederick's lot. 
I am Nefeli Lee, tarnished and warrior like you. I'm here by decree of my father. How utterly repellent this is. This grafting of Godric's ill befits the Lord. He's tainted the very wounds. Yeah, I... Everybody hates Godric in this game because he started grafting people. If you come to challenge Godric, I ask you call upon me. The wounds run foul with his deeds. Your certain father would permit me of the fight. All right, she'll help you with the Godric fight. Apologies, but I've idled long enough. As fellow tarnished, we must each follow our own guidance. Down whatever road takes us to the throne of Elden Lord. Alrighty. Apologies. As fellow down whatever I need to get up there. No. Alright. Yes. Praise the jumping. Let's go. Alright. Well, I'm pretty sure Is this Godric right up here? I thought there was a little bit more to this castle. But it does appear I'm at the end of it, so... This is probably him. And I'm not gonna have that uh, lady help me. I'd rather just... Do it without her. Ooh. Ooh. Level up? No, I'm pretty close though. Um, where's the thing that allows me to level up my ah flask? Nice. Wow. Holy crap! I just made it so that my I improved the healing of my flasks plus three. And I added two charges. That's, um, yeah, that's a lot. I always forget to do that. I'm sure if I was really, really struggling, I would have done it. Okay, silence. Godric. All right, here we go. I'll spawn in my jelly right away. But I'll go stand in front of him. Okay. Oh yeah, me and jelly got this. Oh, he's going for him now. No, sir. No, 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 no. I thought he was going for me. Ah, oh, he is wrecking the jellyfish. Okay, I drank my physique. Yeah. 
He's becoming dragonborn. Nice! Immediately into the fight I get that off. No! And then he gets that off. That's annoying. <sighs> well, I'll definitely be able to beat him. I had him. I went a little bit too aggressive and was hoping to end him quick with the special hit. But of course, he gets me. Oh, I should have ran an ad and waited, because I think there's going to be an ad during this now. His little rolling attack is kind of, that's his only thing that really gets me. Okay. Okay, that's what I died to last time. Okay, that's not too hard to, uh, to predict. Oh, wow, it does the whole cutscene again. I'll skip it this time. We know what he does. That was close. I was looking for my other flasks, but I don't have them equipped. Let me drink my wondrous physique real quick. Through fire and flames. Nice. That's how you end it. saying that we got a great room which uh, you can get special items with those huzzah and you see that easy boss was worth like four times the amount of the crucible knight which is way harder than this boss <laughs> but whatever I didn't make the game I just play it because it's great and now we can use the... Where is it? We can use the Astrologer Staff so we can cast spells. Huzzah! 
We can do that one. Um, I don't really know how to cast the Scholar's one. I'll have to read it. But yeah, let's head back to the, um, what do you call it? Round table. I'll probably do this for now and try to really use magic. But some of the stuff here will have changed. Now I can talk to the two fingers, which is going to take, like, the rest of my stream. But yeah. I'm pretty sure now I can talk to them. Yeah, here they are. Look at these gross, gross things. Oh no. Of the order has taken its tool across the realm of life flies and worms falling to pieces. Foul curses and misery spread unabated, but the greater will has not abandoned the realm, nor the life that inhabits it. Sure it is that the tarnished are guided by grace, called to act, brave tarnished. Your great will is a handsome shard of the Elven Ring. Seek another of its kind to become the Elven Lord and restore the Golden Order. Let's do it. Okay. Well, well, I see. A remembrance of gold has found its way into my possession. Demigods and even the greater of the champions are hewn by the earth tree upon their end into remembrances. They are valuable indeed. Should you wish to wield that same power, well, I will lend you the strength of the fingers. Oh, do not recoil from my offer. The fingers guide us all, and you, tarnished, you are here to take, are you not? About great runes. Great runes are the stuff of demigods, the children of the goddess, Queen Monica, she who is a vessel of the elves' ring, tainted by the strength of their own. Good time for an ad, actually. <laughs> Again? The greater will has long renounced the demigods. Tarnished, show no mercy. Have their heads. Take all they have left. Dang. But remember one thing. The demigods are each and all the direct offspring of Queen Marika. Marika. 
was but a distant relation. The lump of the letter, the divine blood, sorely diluted. Okay, so he was like a bastard child, I guess, and so everybody was like, that guy sucks. <laughs> Like the power of its namesake via finger reader, remembrance of the grafted. So I can either take the axe of Godric, or I can use the grafted dragon. Um, I don't. Last time I got the grafted dragon, but I've never used either. <laughs> The Axe of Godric seems really good, actually, now that I'm reading how much it does, but... I don't know. Ugh. I think this time I'll take the Axe. Well, I'm glad that the ad played during that instead of during the boss fight. I guess it warns me way before it comes, like before the um, ad happens. Ooh, I have a heavy roll now, but I guess I don't need these anymore. Nice, light roll. And... Heavy roll. Okay. This should be fine though. Oh yes, and also So physique, and now I'm using these, and I want my horse. Sweet. What was that last thing? Oh yeah, the Jelly Jelly. Boom. Uh, I don't think I need anything leveled up yet. Now, those eyes tell a story. But I will talk to the everybody. Find them well. Now lay out your own. Hey, let's go. So you can upgrade these. Um, I'm not gonna upgrade the Astrologer's Staff, because here in just a little bit, I'm gonna switch to the other one. I just need one more level. Might as well use my Swordstone Key on this. Whatever it is. Ooh, a crossbow. That actually looks really cool. It just does 68 physical flat. And it's a lot further range than my the bow that I was using, the short bow. But with the scaling, the short bow is better. Interesting. Holy crap, the handle is just way better than both, but it requires a lot of strength. Ah, uh, no more keys. Well, cool. I don't think that ever opened up for me whenever um, I played on my first character. Or maybe it did and I just never came down. I don't think this lady has anything to say. Never mind, she's still weird. Just wants a hug. What about you guys? Anything new? Nope. Anything new? Oh, that's beast, man. This guy just disappears. I don't even know where he goes or what he's doing. Yep. And I bid you welcome as a true member of the round table. 
school. I am known as Gideon Ofnir. As a tarnished, he wishes to stand before the Elven Ring and become Elven Lord. I am accumulating knowledge to be all knowing. You now belong to a select group of fellows. As such, I ask that you remain constant. You'll be after more great runes now, eh? Yep. Then, as your fellow, allow me to divulge a little knowledge. The inheritors of the great runes, the Shard Bearers. We of the Round Table know the location of five of them, including the one you defeated. Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. General Radan, who fought Melania and her lot to a standstill. In that guy's crazy. Greater Rikard, Lord of the Volcano Manor of Mount Gilead. Rise, tarnished. What's up, Glacier Leviathan? How's it going? And Lord of Lame Dell. And Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. Ruler of Rhea Lucaria's Academy. That's who I'm going for next. Sure will. So you can ask him about the uh, other bosses, other main bosses. But I don't much care to know right now. It's going? Alright, alright. Have you played Elden Ring before? Ooh, what do I get with this? Okay, so that goes on your fist. Bandit stuff. Buckler. I don't really need anything from this guy. You again. I thought you'd receive a summons to the round table. Nefeli lived. We met at Stormvale. I'm glad to see Oh, you downloaded it yesterday? I have some Very cool. Have you given it a a try yet? Or did you just download it? How to defeat him. I would hazard. Make good use of it. I don't intend to make a habit of scavenging corpses. Ooh, arsenal charm. Thank you. What's that to? Wait, where is it? Ah, raises maximum equipment load. Hey, so I can do that twice now if I want to. But I don't really have a use for that at the moment. Uh, I started with the samurai and noped out when I met the first dragon. I'll try it again later. Okay, the Samurai is an excellent class for you to start with. I think it's like the best starting class, and it's the one that I used. Um, oh, well, that's all I need here. So, like, you said when you met the first dragon. So that means you played the tutorial. Oh, you mean the one in this lake here? Hmm. Okay, well, don't get discouraged because um, I just run past him. Actually, I kind of want to go fight him right now. I want to see if I can. I don't really remember um, how strong he is. I just know I did him later in my other run. But, um, yeah, if... Do you want, like, any hints to starting out the game? Because... This game's a lot easier if you know what to do at the start. Like, this game's nowhere near as hard as people tell you. I didn't even try and fight it. I just wandered around and then a boss bar appeared. And the mother effort flew down. I've gotten a few hints from friends. Okay. Well, since you don't want um, anything, I won't say anything. I'll try not to. I um, have a lot of trouble not given away but i will explain like what i'm doing so um the only thing i will say is i think going this way is the best at the start that's it um it just makes things a little bit easier because there's enemies that you can actually like fight and not just straight up die to right away But there's one area that you can go at the start where it just makes you feel completely helpless. <laughs> it 
So I've had a couple friends that started going that way and they just like died a bunch. And then we're like, man, this game is so hard. Which it is hard, but um, they made it a lot harder on themselves. So you went samurai, um, what, like, attributes are you trying to scale up in? I'm actually gonna take care of this crab first. He annoys the crap out of me while I'm fighting the dragon. There we go. That was pretty sloppy, but I got him. <laughs> Also, do I have... Uh, I do not have the fireproof emblem. Crap. Well, I think I heard the dragon. Yeah, there it is. Alright, I'm just gonna go for him. I might die from fire, but we'll see what happens. Okay, here we go. We're doing okay damage on him. He's about to do fire. Yep. Nice. Ah, uh, a gee. Oh god. Please don't kill my jellyfish. He doesn't deserve it. Oh, okay, he's fine though. Nice. Going for the face. Crap. I can't make it. I'm just gonna whack him. If they're knocked down like that, you can hit them on the yellow spot. Crap. This is bad. Why am I okay? I should have died there. You're gonna get some food? Alright. Ouch. Ooh. The foot attack. And the tail attack. Please, as long as he doesn't do fire, I think I'm okay. Nice, I jumped over it. Hey, let's go. Great enemy fell. Dragon Heart, and that was like 2,000 runes, I think. That's pretty good. Still more than the Crucible Knight, I think. That dragon took me so long to beat the first time. Because, um, even though I had, um, I had fire resistance stuff, like a lot of it, I just hid behind there. And I didn't, like, get up under his legs when he did the fire moves. But I feel like every time he shot fire breath, I just got one shot by it. But not anymore. I guess they have changed some things in this game, too. Like, they balance stuff all the time. And apparently they added a, um... Colosseum into the game. Um, so you can, like, sandbox fight any of the bosses. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Go say hi to Patches real quick.
And I think um, right over here is where the thing was, the dragon. So I'm going to go get that key right now. If I can find it. Ooh, I'm not going to hit that in a million years. I do want to start using my spells more, though. Like I was saying, so now that I have the staff, I can actually do that. Oh yeah, this guy's mean. Just plain rude. What are you looking at? You trying to start something, mate? What the hell is wrong with you? You trying to start something? Piss off. Before I crack you in half. What the hell is wrong with you? You trying to start something? Piss off. It'd be funny if you could eat his... Lobster. Just walk up and take a bite. You having a bad day, buddy? Need a friend. Right here. Talk to me. Okay, buddy. What the hell is wrong with you? You trying to start something? Piss off. Okay. He's just not having a good day, I guess. Alright. Maybe it's up here. Maybe, hopefully. There's a dragon guarding it. I remember that. Oh, you know what? Let's get the map. That's how we can do this. Alright, it should be right past this building, I think. I thought I saw a pickup. That was weird. Oh yeah, here's those weird guys I was talking about. They're like, alien looking. Okay. Oh, it should have been right there. Yeah, look right on the grace site. Oh, it was right behind it. There we go. Okay, one of these little structures is where the map is, so we need to go further west. That's a giant lobster. It's amazing. Oh, he didn't say Agi, he said Agil. Glacier Leviathan did. Which one was Agil? Forget which place that is here. I don't like their yell. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't show names. Maybe that's what the lake was called. Hmm. Oh well. Just 
to the north. Or, sorry, to the west. We'll go more like southwest. Maybe I'll run into it. Ooh. Lots of lobsters around this statue. Interesting. Wonder why. Interesting. Another one of those statues. Okay, so this is the wall that goes all the way over here. I wonder, um, I wonder what's up in there. Because all this part of the map is uncovered. I bet this leads up there. Grab. Look at those crab eggs. Easy. Village of the Albanarix. <laughs> Have I been here before? Very unsettling. Oh yes, I've been here before. I recognize these creepy things. Dang, surprised that one didn't die. There we go. Ah, uh, they're not worth very many runes. I really don't like how they crawl after you, that's so weird. Watch for a level. 13k. Also, um, if you're back, Glacier Leviathan, don't do what I'm doing. Don't build how I'm building. <laughs> this is horrible. I'll be lurking for a bit. Lurk? Okay, cool. Well, thanks for joining in the Schmidt Show. I always like having lurkers. Really, anybody. <laughs> so, thanks for joining. And letting me know that you're lurking. So, I do, I definitely remember being up in this area before, but I don't remember what's significant about this area. This village is done for. <laughs> Please, even if it's just you, old Albus, hide well and still your breath. Albus Dumbledore? All right, so where's Albus at? Because I definitely remember that there's one of these guys, and they look... They look like this, but they're normal. I feel like, um... That's Albus. I don't even... I don't know if you can even backstab them. Alright, let's cross this bridge.
Ooh, that one can cast. Maybe they all can. Got a blood clot. Interesting. Crystal sword. Wonder if that scales with intelligence. If it does, I might use it. Is that it that's over here? No way down? Ooh. That could have been bad. Alright, looks like there's no way down, so... I think that's it over there. Also, um... The reason I'm talking about things like I've known, or like I know it all, from uh, previous game through, or playthroughs, is because I have a little bit. I played one really long playthrough, um, but I never ended up beating the game. And also this game's so big that I keep running into new stuff. Oh, they have flasks. Oh, this is that guy. Yeah. Please, no. Hear me. I haven't a clue. No secrets lie with me, not a one. Oh, please leave me be. Wait, then. You're not one of them. Nope. What a relief. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I... I'm Alves. I'm Albinoric, as you can see. Albinoric. The whole village is spinning. The curse mongers have destroyed everything. Curse mongers. Remain salve wits about that, I beg you. Would you look after this medallion? Okay. Just keep it out of the curse mongers. I was afraid I thought I heard. And if you should play behind me. Then please give it to her. Okay, that's the lady with the wolf. So yes, I've done this part before for sure. Try jumping. Ooh. You guys hear that? There's a scarab in here. Somebody's crying in there. Oh, it's him. That's so creepy, they cry. I don't like that. That scarab, I definitely heard a scarab over here. Oh, it, wow. All the way over there, and you can hear it. That's crazy. Alright, let's see what's across this bridge. Hopefully more stuff. Okay, yeah, that was just a... Uh, last one. I really don't like that those ones are in the game. I feel like it's just kind of overkill. Omen killer. Oh crap, I got stuck on that. I'm still stuck on it. I didn't see that other dog. No! No! Dang it, this guy is not even that hard, man. Ah. <laughs> uh, he just got me while I was drinking that flask.
Oh well, let's go get him for realsies. At least he's not very far. I think I'm gonna take out these guys on the bridge too, real quick. Just in case. Oof. My magic does not do very much yet. So sad. Oh, um, also, the reason I was talking about my stats and saying that they're not good is because, um, whenever I started, I wanted to go magic, but since I went a wretch character, uh, I didn't have any spells or a staff, so I just went straight dexterity, and, uh, that didn't, that worked really well, because it gave me the Bloodhound's Fang, and I could beat the, bo uh, early bosses. But now that I'm actually kind of transitioning into magic, it's not very good. But if I can find a um, sturdy based magic weapon, that would be perfect. Okay. Thank you, Jellyfish, for giving me a little bit of time. I'm going to go save Jelly, though. Okay, there we go. That was very good to save him, because now Jellyfish can do damage for me, and tank a little bit. I don't have enough mana to do the jump forward attack. Oh, crap! Forgot he does that twice. Oh, no. Ooh, he staggers. Wow. This guy's a lot easier than I thought. I didn't realize that he staggered to all my hits like that. Or else I would have just been hitting him over and over again. <laughs> hey, we got him though. Crucible not talisman. Oh, hello. What does that do? Reduces damage and impact of headshots. Ooh. That would probably be pretty good for PvP if you were up against like an archer. Let me make sure there's nothing else up here before I jump down there. Doesn't appear there's anything else over here, but who knows. There's a lot of messages. Old Frost? Okay, I think that's it for over here. Go down here. Or, uh, down here. Is there no secret down here? Is this just open for no reason? Oh, is that... Pretty sure that just leads back the way that I came. Yeah, I... I don't think that's a real... way back. Oh! Okay, this way... Actually, what am I doing? I'll just teleport back. Okay, real quick. I'm gonna go use the restroom, and then we will go... 
up over this way? Because I still want to find the, um, the glintstone key so we can at least get into the library today or tonight. But either way, I'm glad we beat Godric tonight. Hello, I am back. Okay, let's continue our search for the Glintstone Key. I know in general where it is, but not exactly. I have a feeling this is it. No, I'm just gonna keep heading north. First, I gotta get out of here, and then I can go north. Yeah, this is the way I came from. There's also a part of me that wants to discover this wall, too, though. Oh, those are crabs. Crab! <laughs> Surprised they let me jump all the way over that crab. Oops, scarab. Good thing we went this way. We got the vow of the indomitable. Nice. Okay, so I've checked out all the rest of uh, this area up against the wall. Because I traveled from over here. And I went all the way up it, so... There is nothing new anymore. Ouch. Or a jerk. Ooh, I don't think I did this, though. Yeah, these are like the crimson, crimson guys. Five monks, that's what they're called. Fire spermy. Is that it? Is there anything in these tents? Oh yeah, there is. Uh oh. Okay, I think we got it all. Except for this. Dappled cured meat. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna fight these guys though.
Nice. That fourth hit was just far reaching enough. Wow. That mace does a lot of damage. Oh, you know what else does a lot of damage? Spells! This is why I never play as a mage in this game. He's getting annoyed doing his own spells. Got him! Yeah, I don't know. Sorcery just seems kind of boring in this game. Although there are some really cool spells. Alright, that's it in there. <laughs> I might as well take out this little troop as well. been big. Ouch. Oh, I was like, what the heck is that thing? Made me auto-lock onto that squirrel. I thought that was the long range. Man, they do have a very wide variety of fire spells that they use. That's kind of cool. Because a lot of times whenever they have like fire enemy or lightning enemy, they can just do like the one fire or lightning or whatever move. Got him! Ooh, Fire Monk Gauntlets. Nice. I'll probably actually use those once uh, it doesn't require a heavy load to equip it. Very cool. I'm gonna teleport over here and then I'm gonna go north, east, northwest from this direction. from this location in that direction. Because I th think the dragon's to the north of these rocks. I think, I think. Yeah. Hopefully. Oops. Did I check this out yet? Just like... Oh, I remember this place. That weirdo's over here, I think. What are these guys doing here? holding this shield up, walking super slow. Oh, it's a boss. It's a very scary looking boss. I don't know if this is a good one for sorceries.
He's doing bleed damage. I'm surprised. Because this is all, uh, Crimson Rod around us. Ew, what was that? Whoa! That was crazy looking. there. Got him. Man, that guy was really, really cool, actually. <laughs> Alright, was there anything up in this church that I needed? I picked up one thing. Excuse me. Okay. Wow. Oh no, he's hot! Oh no, he's hot! Yeah, that was a cool enemy. Ooh. Oh yeah, they always go away so quickly. Roll away so quickly. Ah. No! There. Oh, come! Okay. There we go. Blood Flame Blade. Ooh, that sounds awesome. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? How's it going, Server Life Gaming? What's up? I don't really know how to use this Scholar's Armament. I should check it out. I'll read it after I kill this guy. I, um, I finally figured out how to do, or I finally have been able to get some, uh, some sorceries in here. Playing some Elden Ring myself. How's the run going? Oh, uh, it's going pretty good. We just beat Godric, um, a little while ago. What, probably like half an hour ago? It wasn't very long ago. And we finally got enough intelligence to use some sorceries. How's your run been going? Okay, I'm gonna go west. And then I'm gonna go north and just check all of this for the ring. Or for the key. I swear it was far out in this area. Alright, there's that thing. Anything on this statue? Yes. That thing's down. Nice. I guess it could have been down here, but... Going good. I'm really enjoying the faith build I've got going. Oh yeah, the faith builds in this game are really good. I've wanted to try one, but there's always so much stuff to do. Or like so many different builds to try is what I mean. Like, I've gone a dexterity build, that was my main guy, and then I just made like 10 other characters and just like started them all but never really played through them. This is the first time I've actually like done a mage build in any Souls game before. I'm using Rotten Breath and Black Blade on the offhand, so it's double damage ticks and then clean up with the Wing Scythe. Okay, I know the Rotten Breath. The Rotten Breath is like super overpowered. 
I don't know the black blade though. Does that also do the um the like rot damage or the crimson crimson rot damage? I think that's what it's called. Avengers Shack. Kind of putting me on edge. Why is it called that? Seems there's nothing here though. I guess I'll just keep heading north. Keep looking for that uh, glintstone key. Because it's either north or south of this location. Yeah, that's literally the only place it could be, because I've searched this entire area. The weapon art shortens the HP bar and does continuous damage over time. Gotcha. Okay, I know what... I know the stuff that you're talking about now. Oh, where did it go? These ones are super annoying. I don't think that was it. Yeah, that's just a mana one. I think I have to hit it with a ranged attack? I hear it over here. There it is. Dang it. It saw me too quick. Basically, we want... Malakith uses against you. Um, what is that? Elden Ring. Oh, I haven't fought this guy yet. Thanks. Is he like one of the last bosses? Cause I still haven't beat the game. I um I got really far with my other character, but I never actually beat it. There we go, nice. Somber Smithing Stone 2. Yes! There's the dragon! Let's go! Okay, so this is where that glintstone key is that I've been looking for. Way up here. He's the boss that opens up the end game, essentially. Okay, gotcha. Well, right now with my other character, I'm up in this area. And, um, I went, I just like went through that whole walled in area, but haven't fought any bosses in there yet. I fought the, um, Draconic Knight guy outside. But that's, I think that was the last, like, big boss that I fought. Alright, Glintstone Key. There it is. Oh god, this thing does a lot of damage. We'll throw down the jellyfish real quick. Honestly, target lock isn't very good on these dragons. We just killed the dragon at the start lake. What build are you currently running? Um, it's kind of weird right now. I'm doing... Dexterity? Like, I went Dexterity so that I could start the game. Uh, whenever I didn't have any spells. But now that I got a couple of spells... Ouch. Um, I'm starting to do intelligence. Oh no. Ah. That spreads out so weird. He like shoots it down and it goes out like a cone. Dang it. <laughs> well, we got the key. And we should be able to just go right back. Yeah, that's not too far. But yeah, uh, let me show you my stats. So... 30 dexterity, 25 vigor, um, 23 strength, and 18 intelligence. So, it's going to be a little rough transitioning into a magic build, but I've never done it before, so, you know, 
It'll be worth it. And I've already let the Bloodhound's Fang carry me this far. The, uh, the sword that I'm using right now. So, I don't really want to, um, let it carry me through the game again. <laughs> I'd rather try something else. Hey, do you ever just... Just what? Oh, that? Oh yeah, all the time. Hey, my first... Or, my first playthrough was an intelligence build. Got Comet, Azure, and the Brilliant Tear physique. You can meme beam. I've heard of a lot of the crazy spell builds that people do in this game, so... I'm excited to see uh, what that's about. Because I've, I've seen like the Kamehameha last. I've seen um, a lot of just like laser beams and comets and just like ridiculous, ridiculously crazy spells. Oh no. No, get behind the rocks! Uh... Oh yeah, my jellyfish. Come on, jelly. Oh no. Am I okay back here? Okay, I'm fine. Ah, oh, dang. Let's put that on real quick. Mid dragon fight. What platform are you on? I am on the computer. I'm playing on the PC right now. PC Master Race, as they say. Oh, jellyfish. Oh. Ah. He wasn't even going for me, dude. Oh no. Nice, I got out of it. Where'd he go? Where'd the dragon go? Oh, oh crap, there it is. So, um... Glacier Leviathan, he just got the game. Um, he's trying out a samurai build. Also, uh, what food did you get, Glacier Leviathan? Oh, thank god. I thought that was gonna go through for a sec. I don't even think those spells are hurting him. Nice, I play on team also. There is co-op potential. Oh yeah, I mean, if you'd want to. If you need help with any bosses, or if you just want to do it for fun, so. Oh no. Oh nice, it went right around me. Okay, let's go in here. Please. I, um... I wouldn't really want any help with the endgame bosses, because I haven't beat them. Oh, no! Man, that procs twice. Ah. Okay, I think I'm not going to fight this guy right now. I'm going to go do something else. I got the key so I could go inside the uh, library and do that instead. Put my other emblem back on. That dragon's way harder than the one in the lake over here. I just beat that one.
But, um, yeah, like I was saying, I don't, um, I don't really want help with the ending bosses, because I really want to beat them on my own. Um, it's just one of the things I like doing in all the, all the Souls games, just beating the bosses by myself. I still need to beat the, um, all the Dark Souls DLC bosses. things can hurt you? I was not aware of that. Never had one actually, like, hit me. Ooh, what's this? Up ahead. Our door. Tower? Like, don't have any keys anyways. Ah. Uh, Oh, I think there's an ad running for you guys, or at least there was. Ripperoni ads. I've heard a whole lot of complaining about uh, Twitch ads recently. Not like for my community specifically, but just in general about them. Alright, let's try and get inside this here castle. I guess it would be easier if I just teleported to the front. Just went in the front. But I will do that. Just follow the road north. No worries, man, whenever you complete the game for sure. Okay, cool. I was worried that you didn't hear what I said because uh, there was an ad that happened, but... Oh. oh! Yeah. Have you, um... I don't remember if I asked you. It's been a couple days, too. Um, have you played any of the other Souls games? Ooh. Ooh, stuff. I love stuff. Want it. Yes! There might be more stuff. Excuse me, sir. Yes, Dark Souls 3 is my favorite um, from soft game. Okay, cool. Yeah, Dark Souls 3 was really fun. I'd like to go through and beat the um, DLC in that as well. Just like after you beat any of the Souls games though, you feel so much accomplishment. <laughs> so I feel like I felt that accomplishment from beating the game and then I was like, alright, I don't want any more pain right now. Uh, I know I got up on these before. Maybe I just go up this? No, that's too far away. Yeah. Screw it. I'll just go in the castle. I gotta go this way anyways. Right, but that's broken. Oh yeah. There's also this guy up here, I remember. Crap. Let me aim up. It's not gonna let me aim up. Is there a way to like aim this like your um what do you call it? Like a bow? Probably not. Do not agree more. Oh, what build did you go in Dark Souls 3? I'll take care of this crab real quick. Let's get it out of the way. Wow, he does not care. <laughs> he does not care at all. Alright. 
That was probably the easiest crab fight ever. He didn't even do anything. Smithing stone, crab eggs? Yeah. Stab it in the butt. Nice. I think I might have to equip my bow to get that. I think I'm going to. Strength. I used the um, eth ethereal ice sword for the whole game when I get it. Oh, that's cool. I um, I used the. I definitely used that sword for a long time. And um, I also went strength. I went like a lot of strength and a little bit of health and endurance. It's like you have to go that <laughs> at least a little bit. Um, but I, d I switched to a different sword later. I don't remember what it was. Oop, wrong arrows. No. Alright, I got him. This barrage thing is so cool. Charge force. Nice. Alright, and I'll do that so I don't have to heavy roll anymore. Thick. Well, it appears I have to go around. I think I have to go up this way. Yeah, because there's a bunch of people guarding this way. I remember. Ah, jump too early. Yeah, I guess I should explain what I did in my other Souls games. So, Dark Souls 1 was the first one I did. Um, I was terrified because people said Dark Souls was the hardest game. <laughs> I hit him right into the fire, that was great. Um, but they said Dark Souls is the hardest game and like you're gonna die a million billion times. So I was like, no I won't. <laughs> and I just built a bunch of health. Um, and then of course I went Endurance 2 to get the heaviest armor possible. I just wore Havel's armor and just tried to tank everything. But, um, as I slowly got better, I, um, in like Dark Souls 2, I went a strength build with, it was like more strength and not as much health and uh, endurance, but still a little bit. And then Dark Souls 3, kind of the same thing, a little bit more strength. And then um, Elden Ring, I just went 110% dexterity. Like, I barely even built health or um, endurance. I think my stat, or, or like my, um, what do you call them, status, all my attribute points are in dexterity, and then I have like... 25 in endurance and 25 in vigor. So I'm just just full dexterity guy. Because I mean, once you get pretty good at dodge rolling and man maintaining your stamina and uh, your flasks and all that, it's not as big of a deal to have more health. Because if the boss dies faster, then you don't need more health, you know? Okay, I remember there's one of those giant heads over there. I'm gonna try to sneak around that. Uh, I got Dark Souls 1 about 10 years ago and had no idea what I was doing. Got to Ornstein and Smog and Rage Quit. 
That yeah, that makes sense. That's a that's a reasonable rage quit spot. Eight years later, I played Dark Souls three and got through the whole game. Went back to one with with knowledge. Uh, and beating them was a wonderful feeling. I bet it was, man. Um, like, geez, Ornstein and Smog is a hard fight. That one, it didn't make me rage quit completely, but it definitely made me rage quit for the day, like, two or three times. I think it took me... It definitely took me more than a day. I think it was between two and three days. I don't quite remember. But man, that fight was frustrating. Please, I can guard you. Mikel of Favor can be yours. Slaughter. 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 Bad. All I gotta do. Pity the poor, poor fool. <laughs> Every duo fight I face after that, I say to myself, at least it isn't Ornstein and Smog. True. <laughs> True. They were the uh, definitely one of the hardest boss fights I've done. Have you done the, um, like, dual Crucible Knight fight in this game? That one's pretty annoying. And then, also, the dual Gargoyle fight's pretty annoying, too. But again, at least it's not Ornstein and Smog. Doesn't look like he's got a horn. Oh, uh, I don't know if you were here whenever I was saying this, but I cannot parry at all. Like, parrying is... I just never got the timing down. But backstabbing is, like, the thing that I can do. Which, unfortunately, doesn't work on bosses, so... <laughs> that took me a long time in um, Dark Souls 1, because I wanted to go dexterity so I could do more with my backstabs, which I didn't even know that was a thing, so I just kind of ignored it. Um, but I needed to go strength for the boss fights and stuff, so that's what I ended up doing. But in general, like I was saying, I built just most of these uh, health and ex or, uh, health and endurance. Without Spirit Ashes, the Abductor duo has been one of my toughest fights so far. I've yet to do Godskin duo without them. Should be fun. Oh, I forgot about the Godskin duo. Yeah, that fight was annoying. I haven't done the um, Abductor one, I don't think. I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm looking it up right now. Uh, did I spell it right? Oh, are those those things that have the little chambers that they like pull you up into? That's what the picture was, but I just want to make sure, because there were a lot of pictures of random crap. <laughs> I also like you. Fun with the emote. That'd be cool if you could use these. Got him. 
I guess I don't really need to clear this. I just kind of wanted to see if there were items over here. That thing must see me if it's already turning around. I hate those things. They're so powerful. Is he just running through all of this? Wow. Oh no. Crap, I can't get through over there. Maybe I can run around him? Nice! Okay. Perfect. Keep circling. Yeah, so that's how you kill those things. It's just the, the little guy sits in the back. Ah, crap. I gotta use the restroom again. Still no warrior. Okay. I'm going to use this grace. Start an ad and go use the restroom real quick. It won't be very long. I should be back around the time the ad finishes. So, be right back. And um, while I'm gone, server server life gaming. Is it what's it called? Doctor. Oh, rings. There we go. Is this what you were talking about? Okay, I'm back. Oof, I forgot to run the ad. Oh, well. No point running it now. Yes, but there's a dungeon where you have to face two of them simultaneously. Okay. You know, compared to the god skins, that doesn't sound too bad. Like, it sounds annoying, but it doesn't sound, you know... The worst. Wait, meeting place map? There's no way. Where is this? Seriously, where is it? What the heck? Ah. Wow. So that literally shows you where it is. <laughs> the reason I'm so baffled by this is because the first time that I played through this, um, I had no idea where that key was, and I had no idea that, um, the little, there's like little symbols on the map that show you where the maps are. Um, so I just wandered around this area for hours, until finally one of my friends gave me a hint. And, um, I figured out 
exactly where it was after that. I literally, he was like, look further in the lake. I was like, oh, okay. I went a little further in the lake, immediately found it. So, thank goodness he told me that, or else I would have been stuck for many more hours. But just knowing where to go in this game saves so much time, like... I don't know how to tell how long I've been playing. I think, yeah, 15 hours. Where I am right now, I think I was at 35 or 40 hours. So, <laughs> yeah. Let's go up in here. What's, um, oh yeah, you said that, you already said your least favorite fight. My first playthrough took 87 hours. Dang, okay, that's about how long I, mine is going for, I think, like the, the one that I've been playing. I think I'm right around 80 hours, and I'm still not done. Try luring out. Oh, I remember this spot. Yeah, there's all those skeleton guys. I'm trying really hard to use my spells instead. But it's hard to use them. They're still casting? I'm like right up in their face. Oh! Dang it, target lock. There we go. Okay. In we go. Okay, there's a bunch of guys in here. They're just up in different spots. Yeah, there they are. Are there more? Let me roll! Let me roll! Jesus! Oh my god. I got stuck up against that pole. I thought I was back one more pole and was up, stuck up against the wall. Just because I couldn't get unstuck in that little corner of the pillar. Rip. That was unlucky. Alright, back up we go. I don't think there's anything over there for us. Yeah, that just goes out to that bridge. Let's go get our runes back. But, um, yeah, server life gaming, 87 hours sounds, um, that sounds like a pretty good time, especially for a first playthrough. I think I'll probably end up finishing the game right at like a hundred. Because I still have at least three big bosses to go. Oh, he hit me with the book. <laughs> Let's try this part again. It's 
creepy how they just like completely freeze. Man, he like sniped right through the pillars there. I know what to do. Just go out here. Fight on my turn. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate that they do that. It's such a wild attack. Dang it. I hit the one thing in the way. Yeah, how you like that? My magic's way stronger. Definitely. Oh, I'm out of mana. I rolled too early. Rail ah. ah. Lucarian robe. Ooh. Interesting. Uh, oh, here we go. I was like, where do I go? <laughs> oh, still, there's no way to go. Maybe it's over here. Yeah. I probably missed a lot, TBH. I'm finding more stuff on this new run that I never knew even existed. Yeah, same here. Um, back whenever I was in this castle, um, I found a little shortcut that led me to a boss that I've never... I never even knew existed. It was pretty cool. Ooh, don't make the mistake of coming in my castle. Yeah, him. Decoy ahead. Doesn't seem to be a decoy. Which boss? Uh, what was it called? I don't actually know what it was called. <laughs> it should be back further in my stream. Um, but like in the castle, I jumped up on a ledge and went through a couple different ways. And, uh, there are a couple different, like, hidden paths. And it was just in, like, a really small area. It was like a big lizard. Servile Void was saying it reminded him of the, um, what's it called? The, um, Sonic Adventure 2 final boss. I should just get out of here. These, this is a bad, annoying spot. Pretty sure you can get stuck on this bridge. Ah, oh, the tree spirit in the basement. Um, really don't think it was tree spirit. I'll look it up here in a sec. But maybe that was it? And there's a lot of stuff following me. I just want to get out of here though. Bad place to be. That's for sure. Okay, I know... Oh, where did you come from, puppers? I know there's a way up here that you can go. Like, you can jump on that platform. Ooh, is this a boss? No, this is that guy from before, though. That I fought just kind of out in that field.
Oh, yes. Uh, and he has that attack. Nice. Gravity well. I might be able to actually use that. It's weird this run. Every time I get a spell now, I'm like... What can I use? Or what is this and can I use it? But last time I was like, ah, oh, spell. Cool. Just didn't care. Oh yeah. And now I can use the meteorite staff instead and do a lot more damage. Except... No, I won't, because it makes it a heavy load. Okay, now I've got a second. I'm going to look this up. Oh, yes it was, the tree spirit. Ulcerated tree spirit. Eee, that sounds real nice. That's the exact name of it. I put it in the... In the Twitch chat, so people know what we're talking about. But yeah, you're right, that's what I thought. It didn't look like a tree spirit to me, it just looked like a really gross lizard. But I guess it is ulcered. <laughs> Ulcerated? That sounds so nasty. <sighs> Alright, so I know that there's another little, um, little way I can go back over there. I might go do that first instead of doing any of this. Yeah, I'll go check it out. I'm gonna kill this guy first, though. Okay. Let us see what is outside up at the lift. I know there's... Isn't there a way to go up higher over here? Maybe it's down here. Does this lead you somewhere else? Okay, I'll get off here. I don't think it goes much further down, does it? What, flippy floppies? Yeah, I would die if I jumped on there again. Seek down? Wait, really? I don't believe that. I feel like if I go down there, I'll die. Okay, back up I go. We'll just go through the library. Although I guess I could go check out what was down there. I might do that in a little bit. Oh, hold up. We're not even at the right floor. We need to keep going up. Wait, no we don't. Is this right? Where's the, uh, where's the entrance? Yeah, I think I need to go up one more floor. That could have been bad. Uno mas floor.
Yeah, here we go. Okay, and then here, this is what I was thinking of. This was that secret. Check out a song on YouTube by the Aviators called We Rise. It's an Elden Ring inspired song and the video is choice. Okay, I will check it out after the stream. That'll be, that'll be cool. There's a song by, um, I think it's by Mako called We Rise. That's what I was thinking of right when you said that. I think it's by Mako. It's like a electronic song. All right, let's check out this here library. Maybe I can get a backstab off. Nice. And we didn't aggro those other two mages. Easy peasy. I don't remember when the first mimic is, so I'm just gonna start hitting chests like they're mimics. Actually, you know, I'll check out that song right now. There's no reason not to. As long as it doesn't like, you know, say the N word. <laughs> but I doubt it. It's an Elden Ring song. All right, we're listening. I'm gonna turn down the um, game music real quick. Doesn't say the N word, right? Where's the volume? Outside oh, of this play. It does not. <laughs> Oh no, there's a lot more guys in here than I thought. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Maidenless. Okay, we got this. We're gonna rise again. <laughs> you can hit him through the door. Okay. That's pretty funny.
It's interesting that some of them have swords and shields, and some of them are mages. Missing a lot of audio cues. <laughs> this song's pretty good though. Was weird. Got him. All of the Celsius sorcerers uh, can ingest a satchel of, or sorry, Celia. Celia sorcerers can ingest a satchel of Richards. What does that mean? What is the satchel of Richards? And what does ingesting it do? Dog ahead? Okay, and I think that this is the next main boss. Um, so I'm going to have to go back and heal. Oh, right. I forgot about this. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Oh, Injustice Agile, Satchel of Richards, gotcha. Sorry, I thought that that was some, uh, some deep Elven Ring lore. <laughs> I was not, um, thinking it was something like that. <laughs> Jumping ahead, praise the hole. Oh, of course. That's so funny. Alright. Time for hole. Okay, I think... Yeah, this is a different song now. Uh oh. I'm trying to get behind him to stab him in the back, but uh, that didn't work. Nice. Okay, let me turn this music off. I was being PC. Oh, that's okay. You can curse and whatnot. I'm just worried about like hate speech and stuff like that. Raven School Talisman. Oh, I didn't see these little guys. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, that one uppercut me. I feel kind of bad for killing these little little guys. I just really love the um the one big one. Why can't I think of his name? They have a few Dark Soul songs too. Okay, that's really, that's really cool. What, um, what, like, genre of music do you usually like to listen to? I think that was all of them, finally. You know the story of Arturus and Sif from Dark Souls 1? No, I don't. I don't really know any of the story or the lore or anything in Dark Souls. I just really enjoy playing it. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, sound. 
around this way. Turn this hoe back up. I'm mainly a heavy metal person. Okay, very cool. One of my friends at work, um, he's also like heavy metal, screamo type music. I know those are different, but he listens to both. Okay, so that's where those those guys were behind the door. Two. I'll heal back up, and then I'm going to try to beat this boss tonight. She's actually not too hard from what I remember. I think I might have enough souls in my... Um, in this to level up. 1,600, so that's 3,200. 3, 4, 5... 5,600 right there. Yeah, I'll definitely have enough. I think. Uh, the Aviators have a song called Song of the Abyss that chronicles that story. Both the story and song are really good. Oh, what? I don't remember this. Man, he was pissed at that chair. Oh, oh, okay, it's this guy. Yeah. Too much for my shield counter. Oh, he's got magic too. Holy crap. I got him. Very nice. Yeah, this is the edge lord that stands outside of uh, what's his what's his face's place. I'm a total nerd and listen to Dark Souls lore videos on my way to work. Hey, there's nothing wrong with being a nerd. Clinging bone. Arcane. Interesting. Oh, I also wanted to look at this. Okay, so it does scale with intelligence. I might use this. Oh, also on that note, I listen to, um, or at least I used to. I really haven't recently. Uh, I used to listen to a lot of Necritic uh, videos. He does a lot of videos on League of Legends lore. I find that very interesting. Especially because each of the legends, or each of the champions has a, um, like their own separate lore, so you can kind of learn it all, and it kind of connects to the whole story in the end. But this is doing, oh, this does so much more damage, though. Look at that. Well, let's see. 106 plus 21... Plus 68 plus 8. Okay. No 6. 21. Plus 68. That's not right. Two oh three damage here. This one is two twenty seven. So I think I think I should stick with the Bloodhound's Fang for now, but once I get more intelligence and upgrade this, this will be much stronger. Are there any other um, magic weapons that I should be looking out for? I know of the Moon Veil Katana, and once I get that, I will probably use that for the rest of the game. But those are the only items that I know of. That are magic scaling the crystal sword and that katana dark moon great sword yeah wait is there a dark moon great sword and a dark moon katana or is it dark grass katana because i want uh one that does dexterity and intelligence, not um, not strength and intelligence like this. 
Let's go talk to the main guy real quick. See what he has to say about this guy dying. Also, is any of his stuff good for me? It all weighs a lot and isn't very good. It's a cool mask. Wow, you don't even care that that guy just tried to murder me? What a guy. I thought we were friends. Oh yeah, I came here for the blacksmith. Oh, Mr. Blacksmith. Okay, they're two different swords. I'll be doing my job, same as ever. Just lay out your arms. You still got lost? Or you still get lost? Oh, to the other. Yeah, I get lost. <laughs> I, I know, every time you go in there and try to find a black. Yeah, I, I mean. I kind of, I know the layout of it in general, but I get confused between two paths because they look the same. Maybe I shouldn't have asked him about it. But yeah, um, I still get lost in this area. Um, it is because you spawn in, I think, right here, like this. This way and this way look the same. I guess this way has that stat or that like painting you can see. But I don't know. They look literally exactly the same to me. Okay, so I want to sell these. I don't know if you guys know, but this is a much faster way to um, get the runes from those. Instead of having to crush them one by one, you just sell them all. And it's worth the same amount. Alright, let's go see if we can beat this boss. I really didn't think that I was going to be at this point today. Uh, I think it's this one. The Rhea Lucaria f boss fight. Um, I didn't spawn at the right spot. I think it's this one. So, um, what's your favorite weapon in this game? Server life gaming. Mine's definitely the Bloodhound's Fang, like I've been saying. Makes me very happy. So hidden. Cool. We're close enough where I can do this now. Dang it, I was trying to hit both of them. I habitually use swords, but on my current playthrough, I'm using a scythe. Okay, cool. That's kind of how I am. I'm forcing myself to use this staff. It's really, really hard for me not to uh, 
just continuously use this. Ah, he blocked the blocked the shot. Come here, nerd. Let's dance. Ah, I rolled too early. I was hoping that would make him stagger. God, they really, really explode when they die. Sorcerer's uh, armbands. I think I'm just gonna try to run past these guys. Yeah, screw that noise. Just get to the boss fight. Oh, this one's so... Wait a second. Oh, this is not what I thought. I rolled too early, but that's okay. Okay, jellyfish time. No, not the jellyfish. That could have been bad. Man, his moveset's pretty relentless. All right, I'm out of flasks, so I gotta be careful here. Nice. Let's go. We got another memory stone. Wow, and a lot of a lot of runes. Almost said souls, but I count myself that time. Heck yeah. Well, it's cool that you're using a scythe. Um, in Dark Souls One, I liked using the, or I tried to use the great scythe. Um, with like a wanderer build with high endurance, but that never really worked out for me. I prefer to dual wield and use magic. That's cool. That sounds like a very risky playstyle, but I think it's probably a very good playstyle. Oh, excuse me. Can I use this now? No, I still can't. Actually, I'm going to equip this and then just make myself wear lighter armor. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Cool. So I just have slightly worse boots, but I have a better staff. All right. Um Yeah, let's let's keep going. Let's try to beat this boss here. I thought that that was it, but I guess not. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? The Rhea Lucaria 
um, like the main boss fight here. It's the worst low. I just play to have fun. High risk, high damage rewards. Gotcha. I started kind of doing that a bit more as I got a little bit better at the game. Uh, like I, like I was saying earlier. Oh, right. Her fight's up in there. Yeah, you gotta go up on that thing. My memory is being jogged. Let's discover all this stuff out here first. Well, it's good that you play to have fun, um, because <laughs> I know a lot of people that do not have any fun playing this game. <laughs> But they still play it. You know what? I need to use this more. Ooh, I'm actually finally starting to do a little bit of damage. With my spells. A little bit. Imagine if I didn't go any dexterity and I actually went intelligence. Like I said I was going to. <laughs> Luckily, um, somebody in my chat let me know that there's a person in, um, Kaelid that sells you spells, and also the meteorite staff is in Kaelid, so I just ran over there and got it. But this was after I was, like, level 30-ish, so I kind of already wasted my points. Oh, you can run up this. I didn't think you could. Nice. Ah. I thought I heard another mage. So, um... Do you always... Oh, I thought that that... Phantom was an enemy. The Schmidt Show, do you always go um, to dual wield magic? Or have you ever done anything else? Or like, did you just do that for like a recent build? Because I know I definitely play this game a lot different than I did when I started. Schmitty! Oh, is he one of, one of the people did you know? In your server? Flintstone white blade, nice. Golden rune. Doesn't appear to be anything else up here. Other than this door that won't open. I think this... Oh, hello. Nice. <laughs> I think this heads down towards the, um... What do you call it? That, like, staircase that ends. Oh, no. It doesn't. That's over there. Interesting. What else is up here, I wonder? Yes, sir. He is better at Elden Ring than I am. Oh, okay. He's probably better at it than me, then. <laughs> Ooh. I could go out onto those rooftops, but I'd rather just check this out right now, honestly. I don't want to get too sidetracked. <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna kind of go down over this way so that thing doesn't attack me. Nothing over here? That's surprising. Maybe that's just a way down off of the roof. What's this? That's where you get the crown. 
Ah, oh, I've been looking for that for so long. SOG is full of crap. I make a good co-op, that's it. Hey, well that still sounds really good. There's four crowns, I believe. Okay, well I think I've only found one in um, in my other game. Or maybe it was two. Definitely not more than two, though. I did not even realize that one was right there. Ah, I don't want to fight this stupid crab. I'm just gonna run. Uh, anything back here? Oh, another one. Another one. Just killed the rot dragon. Praise be. Heck yeah, nice job. Oh yeah, there's a giant cannonball. Oh no. Oh nice. They just keep coming, right? Yeah. Okay, where does this not hit? Looks like it hits all of this, so I'm just gonna run and grab this as fast as I can. Nice! Nothing stone five, let's go. <laughs> that was still closer than I would have liked. Looks like it's got a spot to the left here that I can chill at. Yeah, nice. Okay, boss is up in here somewhere. You don't have the right. Also, um, I don't know if I fought the rot dragon. Is is the rot dragon in the giant rot lake? That would make sense. But who knows? Eat magic nerd. Wow. Alright. I guess he'll just block it all. It's in Kaelid and he is an A hole. Okay. What the? Alright then. I guess he'll just parry that and not do anything. Oh! I did not... What is happening in this fight, man? <laughs> Here we go. Combos. Ooh, he's got a... Staff? I don't know why he pulled it out now <laughs> when he's at low health. Okay. Easy kills. Very night shield. Um, that's pretty good against magic and holy. But it makes it a heavy load. Oh, wait. I'm back at this elevator. How many been... No, this one's smaller. I haven't been to this one. Careful, he'll parry you. <laughs> he already did that to me. Uh, puts out some amazing Elden Ring content too. Ooh, okay. Is it like YouTube content? Try right, flyer ahead. Like this? I doubt it, yeah. Or do they mean this right? No. Try right, left. Fire him. Okay. Again, all co op lol. That guy parried the hell out of me. I stream here on Twitch. Oh, okay. Then I'll have to check out your Twitch aroni.
Do you have a schedule or anything? Oh, okay, here's the boss fight. Ooh, I don't have anything for this right now, though. Let's go see if there's a race nearby that we can go to first. One of my friends at work, this is the boss that he's stuck on. Um, I honestly thought that this was one of the easier bosses. Like, of the main bosses. So I was very surprised to hear that. Rune Fragment. Also, um... What is it that you guys all stream? Um... I know Schmidt show he's streaming Elden Ring, and I know Server Life Gaming has been streaming Elden Ring. Um, but like, what else do you guys like to stream? Because I kind of do a big variety of games. I've just been playing through games. I don't have a set schedule. I try to stream every Sunday through Thursday, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. is my goal. Sometimes earlier, sometimes later. Okay, so... Sundays are out... Oh, wait, I work Sunday. Uh, I work full-time and live with and care for my 81-year-old grandma. Uh, okay. Well, that's very sweet of you to do that. I was, um, or my family was taking care of my great-grandma for a while, so I definitely get that. So I can't set an exact schedule. Gotcha. Well, crap. There's no graces anywhere nearby. I guess the closest one is... This one? I need to go back to one anyways to refill my flask. Yeah, this one, okay. That's not too far. Is it like in here? Yes. Well, I will try to catch one of your streams at some point. And, um, I would say that I would raid you too, but I I don't usually stream that early, so there's no way I could. Ooh, but I'll drop you a follow and stuff like that. Oh, I guess I need to go up this way. to do past all the horrible bad things and to the boss so it's um it's all elden ring stuff that you guys do or or like just souls content okay here we go cool sorry it's so delayed that i I wasn't sure if you guys saw. I'll be streaming Elden Ring for a while, but I plan on sticking to the Dark Souls games uh, if slash when I change it up. I started streaming with Dying Light 2, if that helps. Okay. Very cool. I just, I'm curious about like what um, other people have been streaming. I'm gonna be quiet for this cutscene real quick though. So creepy. Hush, for 
little Calva. I'll soon birth thee anew, a sweeting, fresh and pure. She's weird. I don't like her very much. Okay, so I know there's a there's like a way to beat this boss. Forget what that way was. There was something special I needed to do. Ah. No. Oh, that was a jellyfish shield. Want me to tell you? Um, I bet I can figure it out. Isn't there like a special one that I have to kill? Oh, yeah, that one. That, yeah, 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 that's it. I have to kill that one. Pretty sure that's what you have to do. Okay, is she ready to get whacked? Yes. Ooh, ouch. Ooh. <laughs> Those little ones almost killed me. Oh, uh, what is she doing over there? Set up a nice sniper spot for my jellyfish. Ah, there it is. Your special attack is helpful as she's very susceptible to bleed. Gotcha. I will use it then. Nice, they spawned close. Alright, I should make pretty quick work of her, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. There we are. <laughs> I forgot I have to two-hand it. Ah, uh, I thought I could disappear in time. Excuse me. Ouch! Got wrecked by that book. One more time. Yeah, like... I don't know, do you guys think... What? <laughs> Alright. Let's redo that real quick. I've never had anything do any damage to me in that fight. I'm very surprised that just happened. Ripperoni. I was about to ask if you guys have ever had trouble with that fight, ironically. Rip. <laughs> Ooh. Ow, those things shoot far. Alright, let's try that again. I guess I'll keep my health topped off. I didn't think there was anything that could kill me. Which right? Renala? Yeah, the one I'm the one I'm doing right now. It's like 
pretty dang easy. At least I've never had trouble with it. That's the first time I've died in the fight. Only in phase two. Oh no! Okay, there we go. Of course, I have only fought her twice now. This is my third time. I'll drink this to keep my health topped off. Or not. There we go. I have it so that I slowly regain health with my, uh, my flask. Where's the singing one? Ah. Oh, I thought I had to do one more. Okay, so... Ah, is that what killed me last time? I didn't realize those chandeliers fell. That must have been what got me. My first playthrough, I was a squishy mage and her magic destroyed me. That must be what my friend's problem is, like the one that he's having, because i um, always been pretty tanky in this fight. So I always was like, are you having issues, my dude? Alright, so one more time after this. Oh, I almost got her that time. Just gotta watch the chandeliers. Yeah, the chandelier fell on you last time. I get hit by those occasionally still. Uh, okay. I was unaware that the chandeliers fell. I hear one over here. Oops. Wrong drink. Alright, two more of those little things that are singing. There's one. Where's the last one? There it is. Yes! Alright. Let's go get her. Finish it with style, too. Yo! Uh, the bleed finally propped. It takes a good chunk of her health. Yeah, I noticed... I noticed a while back that it did the uh, percent health damage. That's very nice. Oh, my beloved. Have no fear. I will hold thee. Patience. We will be Foul trespasser. Send 
Queen of Caria, Granala of the Full Moon. And the majesty of the night she conjurer. Okay. I actually forgot about the second part. So this is the hard part. Oh, they like didn't hit the ground. They kind of hovered above it. That's so nice of the game to actually let me still have my jellyfish in this. Oh, never mind. <laughs> What is she doing with that one? Okay, the giant's gone. Now we got doggos. I just gotta get in here and keep hitting her. Dragon? That's not fair, bro. No point in fighting that. Okay, cool. Oh, what else you got? Okay, the wolves aren't too bad. At least they don't have freaking fire breath. <laughs> Ouch. Whoa, what the? Oh, no. I guess she got inspiration from the sword I'm using. Okay, she's back to the giant. Okay. Giant's gone. Dang it. I didn't know that had two hitboxes. Oh my god. Well, it was looking good till now. Time my roll right. God dang it. Do you have to do the first phase again? Because that first phase is just boring. Ah, Ripperoni. Dang. Didn't see what time it was, too. Oh well, I got a beater. I got this. I just gotta, um... I gotta get in there and do enough damage. She kept zoning me off with those spells at the end. 
Also, that's super unfortunate that the dragon killed you the first time. And that you didn't know he disappeared. Man. Rip. I bet you I'm gonna have to do that first. Art. Oh, you guys had an ad. Did you win? No, I didn't. Ah, oh, that sucks. Yeah, I had her down to like probably three more light attacks and I got like bombarded by the wolves and then I got hit by the laser beam. Yeah. <laughs> ah, dang it, you do have to do the first part again. Maybe I'll have more flasks this time. And I'm not gonna waste my jellyfish. Oh hey, my soul's right in the middle. Maybe I can do the... I can one-shot her. Or like, two... Two phase her? Okay. Okay. I think I got the two phases. Where's the singing ho? Yeah. Where's the other singing ho? Oh, she was hiding. All right, one more. Where's she at? Oh, there she is. Ah. All right. I think we got her. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I thought I messed it up. Alright, nice. That was pretty smooth. All of the flame books, the ones with the small bubbles, are the only ones that throw them. Gotcha. I didn't see books and whenever I was like, where the heck is she? So I didn't know what the heck, or like where the heck she was. Might as well skip this. Throw down my jelly. Oh, bad timing. Ah, uh, I could have done so much more damage. Why did I drink that at that time? I almost died because of that. That was very silly of me. Okay, the dragon's gotta be about gone, so I'm just going in. Okay, this is this is looking much better. No, she disappeared. Ah, uh, that was super lame.
Yes! Alright. Let's go. This arena and Estelle's are my favorite in the game. They are pretty nice. They're very pretty. Estelle made me mad. I remember that fight. That, uh grab move that he does. I've been calling them command grabs because of Smash Bros. So frustrating. That sounds so creepy. Okay, um, well, whenever I come back, I am going to, um, do the rebirth thing and put all of my stuff into intelligence and not very much into vigor, endurance, or dexterity, but still a little bit. So yeah, that's the plan. Um, but that's it for me tonight, guys. Um, that was a good stream. Three hours and 45 minutes, and I had quite a few viewers too. So thank you guys so much for coming in. Um, my average viewers for Elden Ring is usually uh, about one to two. <laughs> so yeah, this is, this is really great. Thank you guys for coming in.